Now, in 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 some sometimes when we're dealing with chemicals, we might have unknown masses of of particular chemicals, and we'd need to um to deduce the number of chemicals to to, to deduce the masses of quant or quantities of those chemicals by doing a couple of calculations. So we might have maybe um um v and uh maybe w reacting to produce x and we might be given the mass of x and asked to work out the mass of, of w or maybe given the mass of v and asked to work out the mass of x it could be either way around and the way we would do this is by looking at um the equation so the balanced equation let's say the balanced equation of this would be v plus w produces um 2x right and what this means is let's say we had one particle of v and one particle of y of whoa one particle of v would react with one particle of w to produce two particles of x and as i said before the molar the mole the number of moles represents the number of particles in a particular um, sample of that of that substance so what we can call this ratio as in the ratio of numbers of particles is the molar ratio the molar molar ratio and so that's the ratio of the number of each particle. It's the ratio of the number numbers of each particle for a given equation. For a given well not for a given equation i'll say I'll, what i would think would be make more sense is for a given reaction for a given reaction reaction because we would might we might have to work out the equation ourselves so yeah anyway i'll do a couple of videos with worked examples of how we go about working this out there's a couple of steps involved so yeah